Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be having a look at Avalanche. Avalanche Bridges launch native Bitcoin support. And just around the 23rd of June, Avalanche actually had a 7.4 surge in price. So that's what we're going to have a look at today. We're going to go for a quick price analysis on Avalanche. What exactly has happened in the last seven days? But first, we want to understand this new bridge between Avalanche and Bitcoin. And before we continue, allow me to declare this video is not financial advice. It's strictly for educational purposes and entertainment. Now, Avalanche ad supports for a native Bitcoin in cross-chain bridge. The network's native token, AVAX, surged 7.4% just around the 23rd of June, outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum at the time, at the particular time. The addition allows users to bridge native Bitcoin and gain exposure to Avalanche DeFi ecosystem by using the newly launched Core Wallet. So we can actually have a look at the newly launched Core Wallet as well, if we've got time in this video. Now the BTC pool on AVAX-based decentralized finance, the protocol Platinumus has 11.7 million in total value locked and offers yield between 23% and 62.8%. Now, BTC.B to AVAX pool has also opened up a rival platform, Trader Joe, with yields of 17.5%. And additionally, the Avalanche Bridge launched last August, supporting transfers of ERC-20 tokens between Ethereum and AVAX network. Now, there is currently 2.6 billion in TVL across the Avalanche ecosystem, according to DeFi Llama, which marks 11 billion drop from December as the DeFi sector resides amid concerns over lending protocols. So that's just a quick look at the bridge. But now onto more information. Avalanche announces new core wallet, Bitcoin Bridge at AVAX Summit. Now in Barcelona, Spain, Avalanche announced it will launch its own wallet application called Core. And at Bitcoin Bridging, functionalities two initiatives aim at simplifying the user experience and bringing more assets into the avalanche ecosystem now as for ava labs head of product nick masalem made the announcement on tuesday at the avalanche summit in barcelona spain to applauds of conference attendees ava labs is the team supporting the development of avalanche blockchain and we've got some more direct information as well so the best in class avalanche bridge is expanded native support for bitcoin network bringing trillions of dollar asset class to access exploding DeFi ecosystem on avalanche so this is great they do have a blog post on this and that has much more information so you can check that out yourself now the core wallet announcement was actually back in march so it's a bit old but the new information on the Avalanche Bridge with Bitcoin is, is what everyone is talking about right now. So we're actually going to go into a price analysis and price prediction. Currently, it's extremely cheap right now. Seriously, Avalanche right now, $18.21. However, in the last seven days, it's been as high as $21 and over 60 cents, $21.64. A month ago, it was as high as $28. And three months ago, it was high as $99.4. So I have good reasons to believe that Avalanche can easily go back to $50, quite easily in my opinion, because it's undervalued. And when a token like this is seriously undervalued, it doesn't take a lot of people a long time to figure out that they're missing out. And this is a great opportunity. Avalanche should seriously be somewhere between $60 to $80 based on the overall value of their ecosystem and their platform and their blockchain and what they can provide. But right now they're under value, quite similar to Solana. Now in the last year, let's just keep in reminder that Avalanche had an all-time high of $134. I'm not saying it's going to achieve that once again this year because the last time it was this high was last year in November. So I'm not saying it's going to do that once again, but what I am saying is one year ago, Avalanche was as low as $9.65, $12, $12 at some points, and at some point $16, $18, which is exactly where it is right now. Before the bull run kicked off last year in August, Avalanche was just around $18 per token. And guess what? It's the same right now. Right now, compared to last year, Avalanche is way more valuable right now, which means that it's even more of an understatement to say that it's undervalued. Because overall, the token, the platform keeps on getting more value. The token price has fallen down quite a bit because of the overall ecosystem, because of the overall crypto ecosystem that's not been doing particularly well right now. 
but that's just temporarily. But this is my video on Avalanche. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more and I will see you in my next video.